Hello again. Now the main stories in London. Extinction Rebellion have been protesting across central London again today. The climate activists staged what they're calling a slow funeral walk through Westminster with children's prams. They say it's the highlights how they believe the government's failure to tackle climate change is killing children. More than 300 activists have been arrested over the past week. A 16-year-old boy has been arrested on suspicion of murder after a man died from a head injury in Hounslow. Mahmoud Sham Shamshi was found seriously injured on Staines Road almost two weeks ago in the early hours of the morning. Police believe he was assaulted late in the evening on the previous day. He died three days later in hospital. The 16-year-old was arrested on Saturday and has been released on bail. Special arrangements being made to allow the public to see Princess Diana's statue later on the 24th anniversary of her death. The statue was only unveiled last month. The historic royal palaces are allowing access to the cradle walk around the sunken garden between 3 and 5 this afternoon. Because of the pandemic, the area has only been accessible to the public from Wednesdays to Sundays. To the Paralympics now, where there's been more medal success for London athletes today. In the pool, Louise Fides from Wellen won silver in the women's SM14 individual medley. And Columba Blango from East Dulwich took the bronze medal in the men's 400 metre T20, setting a personal best in the process. His dad, who shares the same name, couldn't be prouder. I am so proud of him, and the family is very proud of him. My friends and colleagues, his mom is over the moon. Mom is so excited. The brothers and sisters are very excited, and we are also proud of him. And we are proud of him too. Right, let's take a look at the weather. Here's Sally. Making the most of it, whatever the weather. Octopus Energy sponsors ITV London weekday weather. Hello there and a very good afternoon to you. That cloud's still very much the dominant feature in our weather. Those showers from this morning tending to fade out this afternoon, but with that northerly breeze, the temperature's feeling a little bit cool. High teens, 20 at best. Now this evening, perhaps the odd break in the cloud, but that cloud then tends to thicken again as we go through to the nighttime period and a few showers cropping up as well. Those temperatures just about though, staying up into double figures. And then as we start tomorrow, the first day of the month, we do it all again. Still plenty of cloud around in places thick enough to give the odd shower. They should fade into the afternoon, but you can see with those temperatures and that northerly breeze, it'll feel a bit cool. See you later on. Cheerio. Octopus Energy sponsors ITV London weekday weather. Let's take a look at what's coming up at six. We'll have the story of how experts are using new tech to bring a magnificent 17th century wooden warship back to life. It's called the London and it was one of the most important vessels in the Commonwealth Navy before it sank in the Thames estuary more than 350 years ago. People say, I don't really know what's on my doorstep. And to me, it's crazy. It's, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. You never can get it back, you know. That's it from us. Duncan will be back at six o'clock. Until then, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.